Air quality has been officially issued unpleasant for those with sensitive uh, of groups. So, so just keep that in mind that the air with this wildfire smoke, it's affecting us a little bit. Not as bad as it could be considering our air is fairly uh, humid right now, at least to start the day. Uh, but as we dry out, then that'll get worse through this afternoon. Tomorrow we should see the smoke. Uh, finally start to leave our area. So right now looks like overcast skies in Montcalm County. We do have our temperatures sitting in the 70s for the most of us, but notice the 60s up there with that north northeast wind continuing to drive in uh, what is relatively more seasonable air here in West Michigan. That's going to head our way here. We're talking about highs only in the 70s for Wednesday, Thursday, maybe even Friday as well, which is kind of a sight for sore eyes considering we were so hot and because we've been so dry. Nuego in Oceana County still included in a red flag warning here today. So so burn bans are in effect for northern lower Michigan. Again, we had that wildfire from a campfire that turned into a 2400 acre burn in Grayling on Sunday. We have that really, really dry vegetation even here in West Michigan. Without the red flood warning being issued, it is really recommended that you uh, stay away from burning, especially any uh, leftover uh, debris in your yard. We do have some rain over the lakeshore. That's pretty much a non issue right now. Grand Rapids to Kalamazoo looking to remain dry on through this afternoon. Maybe, maybe a sprinkle in Berrien County, but it's not going to be much. Uh, we still need a lot more rain than just a few sprinkles. Temperatures this afternoon along US 131 should get into the 80s as well as Muskegon with that favorable wind. But we're going to deal with a north northwest wind along the lakeshore. So South Haven and Benton Harbor struggling to get out of the low 70s today. It's going to be chilly there along the lakeshore with the onshore breeze. 62 for a dew point in South Haven. We do have some fog along the lakeshore visibility down as low as three miles earlier this morning and they're starting to drop though from Ionia off to the north back in the 40s. We'll see those move in here tonight. Our dew points will be in the 30s by the time we get to Wednesday afternoon, which is why it'll be the driest day of the week. South Haven, you can see a little bit of that fog on the horizon. That's not as much wildfire smoke as it is just the temperature difference between the water and the air temperature. But plenty of beachgoers, though, nonetheless here on a weekday. But we do have a uh, small craft advisory in effect from uh, Allegan County off to the north. Water temperatures still in the 50s. Two to four foot waves, though, really don't recommend getting on those piers or swimming this afternoon. Waves currently OK. We'll see him pick up those go through the next couple of hours. So we've been talking about a rain chance here in the forecast, and this is our setup here through the rest of the week. That's keeping us dry. A lot of heat to our west and a low pressure to our east. We're sitting in the north uh, or the west side of that, keeping us with this dry flow of air. But things are going to change on Friday after this high pressure setting up uh, down towards Iowa and Missouri starts to shift. We're going to see a burst of cooler air start to move in. We may see our temperatures stay in the 70s as a weak low pressure starts to develop over the Great Lakes region, and that'll bring us what well, could be some good rain chances. But tonight, overnight low of 50 degrees. We'll see partly to mostly cloudy skies, and then we'll see them clear out as we go through the day on Wednesday. So no rain expected here today outside of that brief sprinkle in Berrien County. Plenty of clear skies tonight. Just a few high clouds to start Wednesday morning. We should see a lot of sunshine for the middle of the week. But again, tomorrow's going to be the driest day. It's our best chance of seeing any red flag warning issued here in West Michigan. On Thursday, there will be some clouds off to our east. We may see a few, but the majority of us should sit with some good sunshine here as we go through Thursday as well. Temperatures, again, gradually cool back down. Very pleasant weather here for Wednesday, Thursday, even into Friday. But then on Saturday, that's when that system looks to set up. Could see some scattered showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder Saturday night as well. Sunday and Monday, maybe seeing upwards of a half an inch of rain. Uh, really hope these models can come into a good agreement and we can see those temperatures, although staying in the 70s, uh, start to alleviate that uh, dry weather we've seen.